some of your vegetables are really done by then. <laughs> so, it's time to, so it's time to plan for a fall vegetable harvest. That's right. That's yeah. right. This is, so tomatoes, yeah. and, and here we go. We talk about this every spring. Determinant variety tomatoes, which are uh, usually a bush type, or they don't get to be 10 feet tall or sprawl along the ground, those are indeterminate. So they have no end. So they'll continue to produce. But if you have determinate tomatoes, they may be done. They may be done. Uh, Same thing with maybe some peppers or some other plants. Certainly with any of your broccoli, cauliflower, any of of your lettuces, if you've cut cut them, except for you can get away with doing... uh, Set like for instance, there's there's varieties that are leaf lettuces that you can harvest all the way through, but still, even in the heat, lettuces don't look yeah, great. They don't taste good. So it's time to start thinking. It's like, all right, what am I going to replace it with? You have time to start a second garden, a second season. Now soon, we're going to be uh, getting plants in that will be just for that. We will have coal crops like cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower and maybe colorado you know? yeah um sure. we can we'll have other types of things now certain vegetables will do fine most of the vegetables we're going to mention will do fine even with the first frost many vegetables grow even colder like carrots for instance carrots yeah. you would put in by seed you, you don't buy them um, in in plants, so you use seed, they can take the temperatures all the way down to 20 degrees. Ooh, cool. So, hey, mm-hmm. it, it's time. And here's what to do. It's like, all right, I've got to get in my head. All right, so how many weeks does it take before the frost, first frost? So you, you go work backwards. And again, that first frost we're talking about, I think it's, uh, let me like, check my notes here. Anytime between October 15th and November 15th. So if you go, just figure Halloween. You know, if you figure Halloween the 31st or the 1st of November as the, the, the frost date that we have a frost. So then you work backwards from there. So broccoli, Brussels sprouts. Ooh, Brussels sprouts. So they say that they're better in the fall. They are. You know, they, they are. They, and that Probably cabbage, cauliflower, carrot, celery, 10 to 12 weeks before the first frost. So it's going to take 10 to 12 weeks for them to mature to get to harvest. Here are some others. Eight to 10 weeks on these. Eight to 10 weeks. Arugula, Chinese cabbage, collards, kale, lettuce, mustard greens, spinach, Swiss chard, turnips. So that takes eight to 10 weeks. Cooler. Now, a quicker turnaround, six to eight weeks, is beets, radishes, beans. beans. Oh. Come on, Julio, read it. <laughs> beans, beans, the musical fruit. <laughs> yeah, right. The more you eat, the more you toot. <laughs> the more you toot, the better you feel. <laughs> So we have beans at every meal. <laughs> Come on, Leo, you can't laugh during this. is serious. Oh, beans are good goodness. for you. I know. And the thing is, is that beans have a quick turnaround. Yeah, they do. They, they bush beans, boom. You know, they yeah. they and they're good. Plant them by seed. Don't ask for plants. Plants yeah. are, an ex, you know, I'm in the business, but it's a ripoff. A bean will will start growing in a week. Mm-hmm. So if you just use do it by seed and put them in a row. Uh-huh. You'll have beans in no time. You'll have beans in no, no time. So again, you're talking about six weeks before the time that they're ready to harvest. Um, so l- let's see, Aaron, do you, you do the math for me. So if we are the first of November, is how many weeks from the twenty seventh of of July? So you've got how oh, luck. He's he's got to use. Everybody has to use your phone. First, so first of November. August is four, right? So you got August is four weeks. You've got September is four weeks. That's eight. That's you got October, another four. So you've got easily 12 weeks, you know, 12 to 14 weeks. So you have time to plan that garden because, again, the longest thing 
that we have in the garden. Okay, the longest thing is going to be, let's see, where are we? Broccoli. It's going to be 12 weeks, and that's going to be broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, uh, carrot, celery. Anything that you grow from seed is going to be in that time frame. If you're buying plants, they'll be advanced by at least two weeks. So think about this, folks. You've got time when you're buying plants. So it's the things that you get with seed. Um, so again, plan your garden. Start thinking of what you're going to do. Clear out those spaces. Um, you want to try to get the plants that have stopped producing. Don't just some leave them there and grow and hope that they're going to all of a sudden, you know, spring some fruit. Pull them out. Improve the soil. You want to get any like disease spores or any insects that may be um, over, not overwintering, but but on them so that they don't go on your new crop. And you want to rotate your crop too. If you had broccoli in the one spot, don't put broccoli in the same spot. You want to switch it up. Like if you had tomatoes there, then put the broccoli. You want to do different different planting. 